Hello and welcome to your astrology and tarot astrological forecast for July um, 24, 2014. Today is a Thursday and the planet of the day is Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter is that expansive, gregarious, fun-loving, lucky um, planet and what a great day to have a Thursday. What a, It's really, really synchronistic. It's really, really interesting that on a Thursday, the biggest event that everybody's been talking about is, you know, the fact that Jupiter went into Leo. Well, now finally we have a really cool planet to energize and shine that that um, shine that placement and shine a big light on it, and that's the sun. As the sun goes in and conjuncts Jupiter in Leo today, so that's good news. It's we're finally going to start to feel and be energized by the Leo energy because of this. We're finally gonna get to shine and kind of embody it a little bit more. And since Thursday is, you know, the Jupiter day, it's just a perfect day to kind of just be funny, kind of have fun, be lighthearted, believe that you're lucky because you are. And it, and, and if you just, just have faith in it, it'll, it will work out. So there's just wonderful positive energy on Thursday. It's It should be, you know, everybody's like, Jupiter's gone into Leo. We're all going to experience this crazy things. Well, it's got to make some movements. It's got to have to integrate with the other planets. It's got to, you know, make sense to people. And now it's going to finally start doing that. So that's great. And and also to highlight that, the moon is conjunct, you know, at 8 o'clock in the morning, Pacific Daylight Time, the moon, which is the, you know, mother, the feminine, the emotional, it's the reflective planet. It re reflects the energy of, of the planets it comes in contact with. It's going to conjunct Venus, the planet of beauty and the law of attraction and finances. So as it makes that conjunction to Venus, there's just that other pleasant energy. And the moon will continue on today and, and move on to conjunct. Um, it will come into at least a pretty close to conjunction to Mercury today which will be very beneficial because it's going to have that Venetian quality to it still. It's going to have that lighthearted, sweet law of attraction, that beauty connecting with it. And what's going on today is the fact that Mercury is still square Uranus. So Uranus is that outside revolutionary thinker, that flash of insight. Mercury is, you know, about communication and being able to express it in an articulate way. And so there's going to be a lot of thinking outside the box today. There's going to be, a, it's, it's just primed for creativity. And as the moon comes in to conjunct Mercury, um, which is squaring Uranus, it's just going to keep, you're going to be emotionally drawn to wanting to think outside the box. You're going to be emotionally drawn to be creative. So I really feel like this should just be an open, expansive, creative, and, and fun day. And th th that's the mood of the day. Of course, you'll need to look at your chart more specifically to see how it affects you, but um, to me, it, all systems go, we're finally going to start experiencing that Leo, you know, Jupiter energy that everybody's been raving about. So, it is time to do the card of the day. I, I use the Usher deck, I love it, that's all I can say, I resonate with it. I am thinking about maybe maybe next week trying a different deck just to try it. It's always good to do decks that you're not comfortable with because they always make you think on your feet. But I'm I'm very comfortable with the Osho deck, of course. But all right, this is interesting. So the overlay, the card of the day after after I give this glorious, happy news report is sorrow. This is the nine of air in the Osho deck. And it just shows a man in complete sorrow. Um, I don't know, the night sky is out behind him and he's kind of locked in this isolate. It's like a cell. And it just shows that he's imprisoning himself in his sorrow. Um, symbolically, if I just look at the card, of course, nine is about completion. So to me... This is all about a, a personal healing, a personal letting go. And so I think in order for you to enjoy the forecast and the energy of, of what's going on today, you're going to have to heal yourself in some way. You're going to have to let go of something in some way. 
uh, you're going to have to complete that healing process for yourself. Uh, the the actual story behind this man crying in particular is this is Buddha's cousin, and Buddha died, and he was crying, and all the other monks said, well, why are you crying? Buddha's an enlightened being. He's going to be happy. And he told him, you know what? I'm not crying about me. I mean, I'm not crying about Buddha. I'm crying about me because all these years I've been at Buddha's side, and I never attained enlightenment. And that night, he really let himself dig deep. He really let himself feel his pain. And through really being with his pain and understanding and feeling himself, he arose awakened. So it's, a, it's very symbolic of a profound healing going on today around these areas. So I think just, just embody yourself and feel your pain and allow yourself to tune into this new positive energy that this day is about to bring. So I hope this was helpful. I'm Nicholas. Thanks a lot.